my name is Vanessa Bright. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This video is going to be about intentions. And I was talking to someone that I work with earlier, and I talk about this with clients a lot around this time of year, how everybody hates New Year's resolutions. Literally everyone except maybe the goal People, you know, Tony Robbins and whoever else, maybe the people that really like the idea of setting a goal and coming up with steps to get there and things like that. However, most people I work with, all the people I work with, everyone across the board, anyone I come across with in my life, they will say, I hate New Year's resolutions. They don't work. It's a, it's a week of starving yourself or going to the gym or whatever, and then you just feel worse. So I'm here to talk about New Year's intentions. And we just had winter solstice a couple days ago, and I attended a ceremony with a shamanic woman, a shaman uh, from Good Grief. Where is she from? <laughs> She's somewhere in Asia, and I apologize. I literally have never heard of that part, and I'm from Middle Asia myself, but I haven't... Uh, part of that part of the country, but um, part of the world. But <clears throat> anyway, she did a New Year's, uh, uh, rather a, a solstice, winter solstice ceremony where we reflected on this past year, things that went well, things that were calls to our hearts and calls to our bodies and calls to our lives and ways that we responded or reacted, right? This is an opportunity to look at, <clears throat> excuse me, to look at how did you do? How did you, and this is not about judging yourself. This is not about, oh, I screwed up in this way or man, I wish I didn't say that. It's, it's a deeper look. It's a deeper look. If you didn't do something that really in your heart you knew you should have, um, throw away the should. And, you know, really, is it something that you knew you needed to and didn't? And then what was that about? Right? How come? What fear came up? Really, it's always a fear, right? What was the obstacle? What was the thing that stopped you? How did you block yourself? And this could be the tiniest little thing. Somebody needed help on the side of a road and you had an appointment and didn't want to be late and you just didn't stop, right? It doesn't have to be like, oh, what's wrong with me? Well, I had a need and, you know, it's think about it. Was it important? Did your heart speak to you and did you deny your heart? So that was one part of this. Um, it was the preparation for this. Uh, ceremony that we did. <clears throat> but that's an important aspect of how you prepare for the new year. As you look over the past year, and the solstice is a perfect time to do it. Although, of course, now we're a few days off, but it's not too late. It's never too late. Look at the year. Really sit down with a notebook. Don't type it up. Write it down. How did you do? What did you do? What were the important calls to your life? Uh, was there a um, you know, was someone ill and you showed up for them, even though it was hard for you, acknowledge that, right? Fix it in your awareness that you showed up in a new way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, mm, a little dry today. Um, and as much detail as you can remember, most people only have so much patience or time to do this, but write down the big stuff. The other piece is the intentions for the following year. And I really like the word intentions because it puts the, it changes the energy from like a resolution has something very finite to it, <clears throat> whereas an intention allows the experience to unfold. So one of my res resolutions, not resolutions, one of my intentions one of my intentions is to show up more uh, in front of people, is to be more generous with my awareness and my knowledge 
in ways like this where I can share it with people that will receive it, that is meaningful, that is something that can um, improve someone's awareness and um, help them understand themselves a little more, help them learn how to reflect, help them learn how to um, set aside the extraneous stuff that doesn't actually matter, the stuff where you, your brain is chattering versus actual reflection, actual um, uh, capacity for, for moving, moving forward. So I have decided to make this video, even if it's just a few minutes long, but to help people understand how important intentions are, how they allow something to unfold as a process in your in your life. So like my intention I just mentioned, right? So this is not going to be me sitting for the first week of January making a hundred videos and scheduling them to publish twice a week, right? This is nonsense, right? Complete nonsense. <clears throat> Versus I made the intention and then I paid attention to what was coming up. And I was talking to this person that I work with and I didn't even think about it then because I was focused on them. But after the session, I happened to have a little time and I was journaling something different and all of a sudden it popped into my head. Hey, how about a video on this? Because I've made these intentions and I sat with them and I repeated them a lot. And I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute. <clears throat> but it came to mind. And so I said, oh, this is one of those things where one of my intentions is to show up more and be generous with my knowledge and my awareness. Here's a piece I can share about. It doesn't have to be a book. It doesn't have to be a movie. It doesn't have to be a, a long drawn out, you know, thought out, deep kind of structured, whatever. It could just be a five minute video that somebody watches while they wash the dishes and they get something from it. And so I when you know <clears throat> found another break and here i am making this video so you see how even just in this one little example this is about the process unfolding and i'm going to do this video and uh, you know a couple days from now i'll have an idea for another video and it will stick a little bit more because i will have just done i mean this isn't my first video so it's, it's a little different but Usually the resolutions or the intentions that people make are based in something that they are already thinking about, they're already struggling with. So it's going to be on your mind. However, that being said, we are in a three-dimensional reality. We are in many dimensions, of course, but we are a physical being. We have things, we have items, we have bodies, <clears throat> we have eyes. We like and need visual reminders of ourselves and what is important to us. That's why we put up posters. That's why we put up post-it notes. That's why, you know. So one of the things that we did for this uh, winter solstice ceremony is create, create something. I'm trying to get it from my desk here without making too much noise. Um, so, I've never done this before, but this shaman told us to get four ribbons of four different colors and create this braid made of, of these ribbons. And as we were to make this braid, we were to repeat and intend our intentions for the following year and weave them into this braid, um, which, you know, we then talked about there was more symbolic meaning beyond doing this that I'm going to just keep private because it has to do with my own personal uh, life. But <clears throat> we talked about it in, in the ceremony and she's a shaman and she knew what she was talking about. So we could show her uh, our braids and she would say certain things. So each color has a meaning in this cosmology. Green was earth, blue was air or sky, white was water and red was fire. And depending on how each of these lay in the braid and the length of the ends, um, that had meaning. 
But even that aside, you're not going to necessarily want to do that or need to do that. The point is, was, was and is to create something that becomes a visual reminder. Um, this is why we wear charm bracelets too, right? And I have a bracelet too that reminds me of a, a retreat I just went on and how important that is to me and I don't want to forget it. And I wove the intention into this bracelet so that I would see it every day, multiple times a day and connect to what happened in this retreat more. But in years past, when I didn't know the shaman and I didn't make this braid, <clears throat> I would make a collage and I would have this collage as my um, uh, holding my intentions. Um, and um, I had this collage on my wall the entire year. And it's, you know, there's a this whole thing of vision boards and it's similar to that. If you don't you know, commercialize it and think about, I intend to buy a house or I, you know, or I intend to, you know, have whatever, right? It's not about stuff. It's about your inner process. How are you unfolding? How would you like to um, grow in the coming year, right? So the intentions would be things like, I intend to open my heart more and live for my heart space. Now you need to figure out what that actually means because in, in, in action, because if you just say that, that's a sweet thing to say, you're never going to figure out what it, what it is and how to actually do that. But it could be an intention with a list of things you're going to do to make that happen. It would be things like, like what I said, you know, showing up more in the world and how are you going to do that? Right. It could be things like, I intend to have more courage and speak my mind. I intend to express my um, throat chakra more. I intend to sing more, right? <clears throat> and you see how each of these is a process. It, it illuminates your desire for a process and your intention to create that process in your year. And having something visual, having something, whether it's, you know, a a, a bracelet or whatever, or um, a collage, a, a drawing, a painting, a whatever it is, be creative, right? Actually take the time. This is the whole thing too with, we don't have enough time. Well, make the time because this matters. Because if you're not in your life fully, then what are you doing, right? I mean, <clears throat> come right down to it, right? Be honest. Do you, would you rather scroll on your phone? No, you wouldn't. And I know you wouldn't. You wouldn't be listening to this video 10 minutes in if, if that was the case for you. But we do have those habitual pulls. I do too. I have a stupid game I play on my phone because I can't help myself sometimes. Right? <clears throat> we all do. It's okay. It's okay. The point is to keep coming back to your intentions, to keep coming back to what actually matters. Ask yourself honestly, is this what I want to be doing right now? Or is this just the dopamine hit that I'm craving? So you see how different it is to think about this as intentions versus resolutions. Resolutions are too finite, too commercialized, unfortunately, too um, limited, you know, Whereas if you say, I want to open my heart and I'm going to, I'm going to do this heart meditation every day or a few times a week or whatever, I'm going to, you know, put my hands on my heart and try to breathe into it a few minutes a day, right? <clears throat> well, it starts out with a few minutes a day and it's not about lengthening it. It's about what is it like for you? How does it feel? Where does it take you, right? Where do you go? Do you start to deepen? Do you start to have memories come up? Do you start to feel warm? Do you start to cry, right? Something unfolds and that is the point. So that is what I hope for people to take from this video. And I would be very curious if you did get to the end, write down, even if it's the middle of the year when you're watching this, what is that? What is this like for you? How does this help you? How does this change your your understanding of um, what is what does it mean to prepare for a new year? Do you have any intentions you'd like to share? 
it's good to share them. It's good to express somewhere where it's where it's going to be seen and understood and received. So I will end end with this. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video.